was very ill and I was very depressive, you know, depressive. Uh, I was depressed and I have a, a disease, a colon disease. Mm -hmm. I've been depressed a very long time, a lot of years, and I've tried really everything. <laughs> That's sometimes very hard to, and the, the pressure is uh, uh, big, high. I have a, a heart condition, a lung condition. Uh, I, I am diabetes and I have, I don't know how you call it in English, thrombosis. Although, as a society, we believe that psychiatric medications have revolutionized the treatment of mental illness, the real fact is the United States is currently experiencing what we could call an epidemic of mental illness. As it turns out, between 1987, with the introduction of the new generation of psych drugs, and 2007, the number of Americans disabled due to mental illness more than doubled. And this, despite a whopping $40 billion annual expenditure on these new magic bullet psychopharmaceuticals. This epidemic has also profoundly affected our children. During this same period, the number of children who receive a federal payment because of severe mental illness has jumped from 16,000 to 561,000 a 35-fold increase. Despite these obvious failures of the current treatment paradigm, funding and research into alternative treatments and programs has been virtually non-existent in America. This could be cause for more despair, but in fact, there are new experiments going on, which now are seeking to improve both the economics and the outcome in treating mental illness. This film will take the viewer to a number of these innovative and sometimes inspiring programs.